What's going on there folks? Good morning, good afternoon. The Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this. Actually, it's afternoon here. Thursday, February 17, 2022. It's a date uh, about 12.50 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the globe here is a 2.9 down in the Southern California reg uh, region. Looks like right around the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Let's go ahead and check out this activity here on the latest map here from the USGS showing that uh, movement here uh, in Southern California area. Looks like a little bit of lighten up of the red circles here indicating uh, most recent earthquake activity here within the last hour. Looks like a 2.9 near the uh, Alcatillo Wells area and a few small looks like an aftershock or so over here and also one over by the Salton Sea area a 1.3 at 11.3 uh, kilometers. Kind of curious about this one, see if it's been reviewed, which it has not, so it's possible this may actually get uh, removed altogether. We'll see what the US USGS wants to do. Either way, a little bit of activity ramping up here just off the Elsinore Fault System, it looks like. San Jacinto Fault sits over here to the east a ways, uh, where we've seen a little in increase in activity overnight, but nothing spectacular. A little bit of movement also along the Garlock Fault structure here with a 1.5 near the uh, Mojave area. Pretty shallow earthquake. This one is at an automatic status uh, automatic status as well. So this one actually could get uh, removed. Kind of weird how um, a 2.9 could possibly trigger uh, these little um, preliminary computers to, to pull a earthquake up here, you know, far away. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if the USGS keeps those earthquakes or removes them. Uh, movement again throughout the eastern part of Sierra Nevada. Very quiet. Very quiet. Um, just a couple small quakes here around the Ridgecrest area. Not a whole lot going on around Long Valley or the um, Antelope Valley area up here. Things relatively quiet. Outside of Reno, one little earthquake at 1.6 near the Stagecoach Nevada area. Pretty shallow earthquake and uh, some movement up here off the San Andreas Fault, this activity here off the coast or along the coastline, right around the Oceanic Fault Zone, uh, is from last night. Had a 3.4 uh, near the San Simeon. Simeon, right? Simeon. Sim e on. I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, region 3.4 and a couple other smaller aftershocks in there, and some movement up and down the San Andreas Fault Zone uh, as well. Looks like a little hot spot of activity south of Clear Lakes, south of Mount Kanoktai, out there in the Calpine hydrothermal plant operations out there, getting in on some uh, microquake activity. Over here around the Chico area, around my neck of the woods, 1.7 out here around the Hamilton City area. Uh, this one pretty deep out there just uh, to the west of the Sacramento River, it looks like. I'm kind of curious to see if this one has stuck or not. Uh, it has been reviewed, so it is a pretty deep earthquake. And a regional earthquake here in the Northern California region shows that there's some uh, obvious movement up here around the Lake Oroville area. Uh, around the Sacramento River where we've seen that little one-pointer, not a whole lot. I know we did have, a, I think, a 3.9 a couple years ago. I kind of felt that. Uh, but definitely some deep earthquake movement taking place out there. Uh, just outside of the uh, Sacramento River. Uh, what else we got here? Northern California, just south of the Mount Shasta area around McLeod. A couple twos and some ones kicking up here at the base of the Mount Shasta volcano. Now, over the last, uh, we can go last seven days, I think it will show the activity. A couple more. Let's see if we can go back 30 days and see if we had any type of swarming now. Mostly within the last week or so. A little bit of activity taking place here near the Shasta mud flow area. Um, just north of McLeod, Mount Shasta City sits over here to the west. Uh, pretty close to the uh, volcano itself at a depth of about 9 kilometers for all of these earthquakes. Let me check out the uh, GPS systems here at the base of Mount St. Helens. Kind of in this area where we're looking at. Uh, there's not a whole lot of GPS stations here. They're kind of missing. So you kind of have to go with the closest one, which would be probably this one here, just to the northwest of McLeod. And looking at uh, the GPS, this only goes to about 2020, so uh, not really too impressed with that. It does, doesn't even really show too much, so kind of a hard deal to judge um, the GPS stations when they're not accurate or uh, uh, up to date. 
This one goes to 2022, so we'll check this GPS station out. It's a little bit further north, and uh, looks about the same uh, as the prior year as far as 2022 goes. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it as uh, time goes on there around Mount Shasta. Getting back to the all magnitudes here along the Northern California coastline. Pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of activity there stretching up uh, from that region northward. Cascadia looks pretty quiet today as well. Uh, Mount St. Helens still continues to pop off earthquakes overnight. With quite a few more microquakes centered right around the summit, the crater area of Mount St. Helens. Just checking out the uh, PNSN network. Uh, I was, I don't know where it went to. There we go. Um, here at the uh, Pacific Northwest Seismic Network stations. You can monitor seismograph stations and whatnot all over the place here across the Pacific Northwest. Going to check out the three component broadband here at the summit area and check out local seismicity at the, um, at the region. Rembrandt Mount St. Helens is the name of the station up here. And what do we have? I'm pretty sure we have something, hopefully. Let's see, it's kind of a little on the odd side. Kind of weird. There we go. It's just kind of strange. Anyway, last, uh, you know, last uh, since about um, UTC time zero zero, definitely seen some earthquake activity. You can see it there in the background. Um, not all of the earthquake activity is being reported though, because I see more than what the USGS is stating here with five earthquakes around the summit area. The station here shows a number, and uh, there's quite a few there. There's two. I'm not going to count them all. Three, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, you get it, right? All these little ones, all these spiky little ones indicating localized earthquake activity. Nothing significant, but there is earthquake activity uh, more than what's being reported there. And I don't see any type of harmonic tremor in those seismographs. Checking out the prior day, uh, some earthquake activity. There's the um, um, 6.8 uh, that struck, I believe, in the Fiji Islands area, right around the 2021 time frame. Or so even this station here kind of shows like that it looks like there was a couple quakes here following that uh, 6.8 but uh, prior to that definitely some earthquake activity in Mount St. Helens there and um, that is continuing to this date so moving on past there up north Mount Rainier a little bit of activity outside of there as well in the Cascades nothing significant looks like it's just outside of the park there uh, a couple small quakes there at five kilometers and uh, some movement outside of Seattle as well, just north of the Seattle Fault System near Silverdale at uh, 19.2 kilometers. Intermountain West regions uh, seeing some activity as well. Looks like Utah and up through the Cedar Utah area stretching up into Yellowstone uh, and the Idaho area right at the southern or northern end of the Sawtooth Fault System. Quite a few twos and uh, even a three over the last 24 hours there, 3.3 at 12 kilometers. Uh, Yellowstone, I don't believe we have too much going on there. We'll go ahead and verify that info. And um, let's see what we got here. Little bit of activity over here around the Yellowstone Lake area, borehole and the promontory. Looking in on these seismograph stations here, the closer view shows these earthquake acti uh, this earthquake activity. They're kind of spiking up. Uh, again, localized uh, either quake activity or ice quakes happening. I believe they're, uh, I believe these are just some very small earthquakes in general under uh, tectonic stress in that region of the park. We've seen this over the last couple days or so, kind of alternating between this region and the area over here around Maple Creek where we're still seeing some activity localized here independent of the other earthquake activity to the southeast of this station. All these earthquakes here localized. Uh, within the last 24 hours. Very small earthquakes, uh, but then again, not a whole lot being reported here by the USGS, just showing one earthquake uh, in the region of the Madison uh, Plateau area, this area where I showed you here on the map, uh, which is back here at the uh, Yellowstone area. Eastern part of the country, zooming out. Uh, we're looking at one little earthquake here outside of the New Madrid zone in the Arkansas area, 2.3. Pretty shallow earthquake, two kilometers there near the uh, Mount Pleasant, Arkansas region. I guess these guys getting some severe weather down here in the south. Uh, quite a bit of uh, potential there for uh, causing a little bit of headache and traffic mess in the severe weather department. 
it's getting to be that time of year. Unfortunately, I didn't even feel like we had a winter time out here in California anyway. Southwest part of Puerto Rico, some activity ramping up and also run the uh, Mona Trough up here with uh, looks like a three or so, but most of the activity uh, recent been confined here to the southwest of Puerto Rico. No further activity here off the coast of Guatemala uh, following that 6.2 earthquake yesterday. I don't see any aftershock activity according to the USGS, but we are going to check out the EMSC model to see what these folks are reporting in the area of the Guatemala region. Uh, and of course these guys showing the activity that is missing from the USGS map. Give it a second here so I can load up. These guys here also show, at least in this view, show the earthquake activity in the, um, hold on a second here, in the um, three range and two range down here. Looking like uh, a good handful of earthquakes. Give me a second here. This is kind of just being a little on the weird side. It's going to show the South America map here too. Still got this square right here, and whenever I hover over it, the uh, hand goes to a um, an hourglass. So some app is froze. I've already gone through them all, looked to see what I could uh, close out, and I, I can't figure out what it is. Just a little defect there in this. Uh, I don't know if it's in the uh, browser or or if it's on the computer. I think it's here on the browser, so I'm gonna have to check that out. So yeah, um, Guatemala up here, central. Um, or a middle American trench, quite a few threes kicking off there. But this is very typical here in the range of this trench area. Also down here through the South America area, looking like a 2.7 latest down here into the Peruchelli Trench. Some movement kicking up there in the three and two range along that area of the world. USGS uh, not reporting too much in the way up here, but down here in the Peru area and Chile area, seen some activity in the four range once again some deep movement from about Ecuador southward to Chile uh, into this Peru Chile trench uh, South Sandwich Islands did see a little earthquake uh, kick up late last night with a 5.5 pretty shallow earthquake though back before the trench region back before the subduction zone of the South Sandwich Trench South Atlantic or Mid-Atlantic I should say Mid Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge 5.0 and that's uh, some activity over in the Indi Indian Ocean looks like Mid-Indian Ridge had a 4.8 and a little bit of activity up here in the Greece area once again they have seen a little bit of swarming here take place uh, in that region I believe that's from yesterday right most of it is so not a whole lot of renewed movement there in the Greece area what else we got here? Indonesia, Japan. Zoom in here to Japan area. Looks like kind of close to the uh, Japan Trench, Kurokamachaka Trench area, this bend area in the plate. 5.0 at 52.8 kilometers for that earthquake. Still pretty quiet here for, uh, for that trench area. Down here in Tonga, seeing a little uptick in movement following that uh, 6.8. That struck out here in the Fiji area yesterday. It was a pretty deep and large earthquake. We have seen some subsequent shallow earthquake back behind it into the Tonga Trench area. This is kind of expected whenever we see some deeper movement. Although we haven't seen any adjustment over here to the west in a big in a big way, uh, I expect to see something uh, popping off here. At least a swarm of activity potentially here around the Solomon Islands or the Papua New Guinea region that should be kicking up here pretty soon. Uh, what do we got? Uh, 4.9 around the Tonga area. No further uh, volcanic activity, just basically uh, tectonic stress here from yesterday, 6.8. Uh, Hawaii, what's going on out here? Things kind of calming down, not a whole lot going on. I don't see any earthquake activity over the last hour. Just the southeast region showing some uh, typical movement around 30 to 40 kilometers down there. And uh, a little earthquake activity off the northwest coast here. 2.0 at 40 kilometers. That's pretty deep movement. Just got one popping up here on the USGS map. Talk about how quiet it is. Sure enough, they throw a red dot on the map indicating a recent earthquake here within the last hour near the island of Hawaii, Hawaii. Okay. <laughs> Two, what do we got here? Uh, 4.0 uh, for the kilometers of 1.7 earthquake there. 
Uh, what else do we have here? Check the trimmer map from last night. There's not a whole lot going on there yesterday. We'll see what that uh, stirs into tonight. The other hand's still kind of weird. Not for sure. Someone said it looks like I'm wearing a glove on there, but uh, okay. it looks like it could be a glove. It just looks a little odd. Uh, let's see what else we got. Earthquakes Canada map here in the region. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. These guys are a little slow too. There we go. Some movement inland around BC area. Looks like a little, uh, little bit of activity. 2.6 within the last day today. The most recent earthquake up here north of Victoria. Uh, let's see. 0.6, very small earthquake near the Sydney, BC area at uh, 9.5 kilometers. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a, a glorious day out there. Stay safe. And uh, solar weather activity kind of ramping up. We'll cover that a little bit later on this evening in the update video. Uh, but for now, stay safe out there, and we will chat at you guys later. Peace out.